way to Broadway with this one? We had to scale the project down. Because of cost. Yeah. So they'll stop action and so much. One's available on the 16th. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a, that's a <laughs> she 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
afraid if I shave it? People are going to find out the company on that list. Of course, I got one with gray hair. Right? Yeah, I thought it was like all like ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Good afternoon. I call the April Public Works and Safety meeting to order. Please call the roll. Schuler? Here. Janser? Here. Berg? Here. Kosen? Here. Padragula? Here. Shimento? Straight. Here. We have 14 items on our agenda today. I've had requests to pull numbers 10 and 11 for discussion. Are there any other items that anyone would like to pull for discussion? Madam Chair, mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to uh, move consent agenda on the remaining items. Second. Okay, motion by Janser, seconded by Kosen. On items one through nine, 12, 13, and 14, those items would be passed on consent agenda with the recommendations of staff. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak to any of these items? We have someone coming up. Which item is it? Item number eight. Number eight. We can pull number eight if you'd like, so we can pull that one and then you can speak specifically to it if okay. you'd like. Okay. Thank you. We'll pull number eight as well. If you want to just have a seat up front, we'll call you up when we get to that. Anybody else with any other items that they'd like to discuss? Does the motion, do we need to get an addendum, or addendum on the motion to pull number eight as well? Okay. Yeah, that's agreeable. Okay, and the second degrees yes. as well? So now we are moving on consent, items one through seven, nine, 12, 13, and 14. And we'll call the roll. Janser? Yes. Berg? Yes. Kosen? Yes. Padragula? Yes. Strait? Yes. Schuler? Yes. Number eight is a building relocation uh, from coming out of committee or coming to committee with a recommendation, it looks like, for a building to be moved from 306 Maple Street to 3520 30th Street Northwest. And I need a motion to open this one for discussion. Move it. Moved and second. Second. Seconded by Berg. I'll have you come on up, sir. If you'd state your name and address for the record. Larry Schaefer. I'm the building owner of 306 Maple Street. Do you have information for us? Um, on item number two, under number eight, an approved approach permit assigned to 3520 30th Street Northwest issued by Harrison Township. I would ask you to waive that as there are two approaches already to the uh, 2410 30th Avenue, which is the adjacent property owned by the same people. Okay. Just be an additional unnecessary approach. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if Lance could speak to this one. Is he back there? Or Mitch, maybe? Madam Chair, I'll start. Um, if it's an approach permit that's issued by the township, um, they would have to waive that requirement because it's be like us trying to dictate um, a permit on a, on a different jurisdiction. So maybe Mitch is, had more uh, discussions on that, but that's how I would view it right now. No, I was just going to add, I have not talked to Harrison Township, but I, I was just going to add that they would have to approve those existing approaches if, if they want to, you know, waive the, uh, the new permit requirement. So if I'm correct in understanding this, number two is a requirement by Harrison Township then? The number two requirement. It is, yeah. They have to they have to approve the uh, the approach permits, the distances, and how they're put in, and that sort of thing. And we don't have the ability to override their requirements in the township level. No. Way. Would Mr. Schaefer have an avenue to talk with the township specifically? I'm sure there's a committee that meets for the township. Yeah, he would have to contact the uh, the chairman. I think it's Todd Coop and he would have to contact him and, and they would come out and look at it and see if, okay, that meets the township requirements and we're okay with, with the way they are right now. Okay. Would, would there be a way for us to push this to council and have council maybe if, I don't know if that, if that township would have to meet prior to um, the council meeting to approve 
this piece of it, or would there be a way for him to do it after the fact if we approved it today? Well, it's one of the requirements that we, we, we would need to have approved before we issue the building permit. Yeah. This is, they're all, they're tied together. The moving permit and the building permit are tied together. Now, you can approve the moving permit or, or recommend, recommendations for it, but we would hold the building permit until we had that uh, final approval from, from the township on that right on the uh, approach. Um, I'm going to let our city manager just address this real quick. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, one thing the committee may want to consider is an amendment to uh, the second requirement so that it would read something like um, the condition which would include an approved approach permit assigned to the property issued by Harrison Township unless otherwise waived by Harrison Township. And that way you could advance this project and leave it up to uh, Mr. Schaefer and Harrison Township to work this out. Mr. Schaefer, does that sound like a... Well, my question is, is I, I wasn't requesting an approach be put in for that property mm -hmm. because there already are two there. The challenge is that we don't, we, if this is something that's required by that township, we can't okay. override what they, so what we could do, like, like our city manager was saying, is make an amendment. All but right. if you can get that worked out with the township, then okay. the building, the building uh, certificate could be issued just as, sure. as you stated. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then it looks like there's another woman who's <clears throat> coming up to talk on this one as well. Your name and address for the record. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the committee. My name is Clara Sue Price, and uh, my address is 3520 30th Street Northwest. I am the landowner. And I guess I would have a question then for the gentleman. Does the approach have to be absolutely adjacent to this building, or does it just have to be on the piece of property that, we, that is in question? Mitch, can you answer that one? Or Lance? It would just be like any other uh, property, Madam Chair, as long as there's a, an access to that property, um, we're fine with it. Uh, likely, the way that I look at this, I don't think there's going to be any problem from the, from the township. I'm there, I'm there. Sure. So as, as long as the township's probably going to look at it and say, well, if you're not putting in a new approach, you're going to utilize the existing ones, we're not going to have an issue with it. But they have to check off on this as well because it's their, their role. Are there any other questions for... Any of the folks we heard from? Just for clarification, Madam Chair, there are two other approaches on that piece of property, not the adjacent property. They are not exactly right by this. Actually, there are three. One is probably not a recognized approach. So we do have access on that property already in three locations. Yeah. And I think really it's just a point of clarification to make sure that the township can sign off on it. And so. the only reason that we are kind of pushing it is that Mr. Schaefer has to get the garage out of the location where it is because of the flood project. So we don't want to delay this any longer than necessary. And that's why if and we I can make an amendment, then we can move it. Otherwise, that. we'd hold it back a, a month, which wouldn't be a good idea. Thank you. So. Any other questions for anyone today? Anybody from the committee have any questions or items to add? If this is the way we'd like to move forward, there was the amendment we'd need to have added to the motion. I'd move that. Second. Do they need to be the original people who moved in? Vote on the okay. Perfect. So we'll do a vote on the amendment. And I'm going to have our city manager read that again, just so we get the verbiage. <coughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. The amendment would include the language for requirement number two to read as follows an approved approach permit assigned to 3520 30th Street Northwest issued by Harrison Township unless otherwise waived by Harrison Township any other discussion before we vote on this amendment seeing none please call the roll Pajagula yes straight yes Schuler? Yes. Janser? Yes. Berg? Yes. Kosen? Yes. And now we vote on the original motion to pass number eight. Straight? Yes. Schuler? Yes. Janser? Yes. Berg? Yes. 
Tosin? Yes. Padragula? Yes. Next item on our agenda is item number 10, which is a sundry raw water line reroute bid approval. What are the wishes of the committee? I need a motion to open for discussion. Uh, Madam Chair, I'd move the number. We have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Cosin. Um, I believe Dan probably has something for us on this one. Madam Chairman, members of the committee, uh, at about 3 o'clock today, we received a letter of protest of award from Rice Lake's attorney on uh, Project 4195.1, which is the um, bid for the pump station reservoir. In that, uh, Rice Lake's attorney is stating, uh, to give a little background, at the bid opening, when we opened bids, Rice Lake was the apparent low bidder, looking at the numbers that were submitted. Uh, the engineers went and reviewed all of the bid tabs, as they always do, and after reviewing it and following the addendums and everything that were sent out, ICS became the apparent low bidder. And the reason for that is um, addendum number three, and I want to read you the part of it, specifically that uh, is, I guess, bringing up this issue from Rice Lake, saying that the bid is non-responsive. Addendum number three removed a portion of the bid. Uh, and what it says is the following changes and clarifications to the contract documents for the project are issued by the engineer and shall have the same force and effect as through part of the original issue. Acknowledgement of this addendum is not required. Bids will be evaluated without consideration to any figures included for item D on bid schedule A. This removes all milestone one work from the project. Bids received with figures included for this work will be evaluated with those figures subtracted from the total. ICS had numbers put in there for this bid schedule, which was some work that we were looking at doing to one of the wells, well D. When the engineers reviewed it, they followed the addendum procedures that had been put out that everybody saw. They didn't have to acknowledge, but they all did acknowledge, and they removed those numbers from the bid schedule, which made ICS the low bidder now. Rice Lake is contesting that, saying since they acknowledge the addendum, they shouldn't, the numbers shouldn't have been removed, but the addendum clearly states that those numbers will be removed if there's numbers in there. So uh, the city attorney hasn't had much time to look at this, um, but from what we initially see uh, on this, we believe that all of the bid award is correct. It should be awarded to ICS, and I would recommend that the committee award that. We will continue to review the letter from Rice Lake's attorney and the documents. Uh, I'll work with the city attorney. If there's any changes, we will notify you at council Monday. But otherwise, uh, I would recommend that you continue with the award a bit to ICS. Are there any questions from the committee for our Public Works Director? Any questions? Alderman Strait? Thank you, Madam Chair. Dan, is this, how frequent does this happen? Madam Chair, Alderman Strait. Uh, <coughs> Not real frequent. I mean, there, you do get protests on um, on projects for, I guess, different things. Um, I've seen it happen a few times in my career, sure. uh, <laughs> depending on what it is. But uh, typically, uh, I, like I said, it you see it more frequently when you know someone thinks they're the low bidder, and then after the bid tabs are. You know, re looked at and 
they look at you know errors, math errors that they have, could have made or something, you know, then another person is low, uh, starts bringing up issues. Dan, if this becomes a source of contention and they take it to the courts, how can this affect this project moving forward? Madam Chairman, Alderman Strait, um, I'd have to rely on our city attorney to help me phone a friend here. Um, I would hope it wouldn't hold it up. Uh, it's This is an important project that needs right. to move forward so that we can get uh, this project built before the flood protection and the rest of the Broadway Bridge gets constructed next year. We need to get the line out of the way. So I would hope it it wouldn't hold it up. <coughs> City Attorney, do you have anything to add to this? Um, Madam Chair and Alderman Strait, just to answer that question fully, I guess, the letter from Rice Lake's attorney indicates that they would um, potentially seek an injunction and declaratory relief to enforce its rights um, to prohibit the formal contract award. Whether they would be successful on that or not, I, I can't answer that right now. I, I read that as well, and I, I recognize that this is an important project. And so, in that, how fast would something like this move forward then and be reviewed uh, to ensure that the project might go forward, or how can this get uh, expedited, I guess, through the legal process if that's what ends up happening? Madam Chair and Alderman Strait, the legal process oftentimes takes a significant amount of time. Um, injunction or injunctive relief is normally a little bit quicker if if that's something that's ordered by the court that's usually something that happens faster than an actual uh, litigated matter um, but again whether or not an injunction would be granted to this party I I'm not sure that the court would do that thank you I have I have a concern and, and I'm not sure Kelly if you're able to address this but if we do pass it um, with the recommendation for ICS, um, obviously it'll go to council for, for the reading on Monday night. Um, this letter that came in from the attorney basically came in the last 45 minutes or so, and none of us have had a whole lot of time to really look at it to see what kind of implications. Um, my fear would be delaying this project, but at the same time, it looks like we're looking at a hundred thousand dollar difference as well, um, which which is a is a sizable amount of money. Um, would it be feasible or possible to give us additional time to move this without a recommendation for a final reading potentially at council? Is that is that an option, Madam Chair? This committee can forward this issue to council without a recommendation. Um, and make the final decision and motion at council. That's an option for the committee. I just wanted to bring it up, and I don't know, Dan, if it affects the project, but like I said, with this information falling on our desk right as we walked up and our city attorney not digesting it as well either, I, uh, I feel a little reluctant to make a rash decision just in the light of the scope of the project too. So, Dan, do you see any, and I, you know, there's no motion or anything, but with that, hinder anything from your end, do you think? Madam Chairman, no, that that would be fine. Like I said, it, uh, you know, we, we uh, can, it, you can forward it to council. Uh, it, it won't delay anything. Um, I, I will add, um, you know, I, if you're considering awarding to Rice Lake because of this, I would guess you'll get the same letter from ICS's attorneys uh, on it since they are the apparent low bidder according to all the bid documents and every, the way everything was followed. True. So. Are there any other questions from anyone on the committee for uh, Alderman Padragula? Question for the attorney, but not for him. Thank you. I thought you wanted to. Oh, no, I thought you had a question for. You can go ahead. Um, just a clarification for the attorney. Um, you were shaking your heads when, your head, I'm sorry, not heads. <laughs> you were shaking your head when um, uh, Mr. Jonathan uh, predicted that if we uh, 
didn't go with with the the award that the other person would would threaten us. Their attorney would threaten us. I just wanted to confirm that you know, it's a possibility we could be in trouble either way. Madam Chair and Alderman Padrigula, the other party, if they are the low bidder, which it's apparent that they are, they could certainly file a protest letter if the bid was awarded or proposed to be awarded to a different company. Second clarification. Um, is it also correct to assume that you really aren't prepared to give us an opinion on this because this was so, came before us so, so recently? Madam Chair and Alderman P Padrigula, that's correct. I haven't reviewed all of the bid documents. I have parts of them that I've reviewed, but I haven't reviewed everything. Okay. I guess kind of third question would be in terms of buying us some time. Today is what, Wednesday, and the Council will be meeting Monday. Um, I guess I want to make sure, like the, the chairwoman here, that we're not rushed into something. We're talking about seven million bucks. This is a big project. We're facing <laughs> threat of litigation one way, probably facing it the other way. Um, I'm wondering what about the option of um, buying some time and uh, to make sure you've had the opportunity to adequately study it. And then if need be, uh, having a special council meeting uh, to act on it if necessary. I mean, if you can get it done by Monday and make recommendations, that'd be great, but um, I, I want to kind of propose that as an option, a potential option, just in case you need it. And that would be an option. Alderman Padrigula. Thank you. Any other questions or discussions on this item from anyone? Madam Chair, yes. if I could, um, since this was all under item 10, um, would you be receptive to uh, ruling on project 4195 which was um, I guess item one under this um, and forward this one without a recommendation since it's two different projects currently we have a, we have a motion to approve as recommended um, city attorney what would we need to make a would we do an amendment on this one as well if that was the case madam chair you would if the committee wants to remove number two or forward that to um, the city council without a recommendation, somebody could make a motion under number two of the motion to just forward that without a recommendation, leaving number one and then <coughs> number three as it relates to number one. As part of the original motion to yes. approve. So, so there they, would be an amendment and then okay. a motion. I so move. Moved by Alderman Padragula. Seconded by Kosin, that would be removing item number two to forward that without a recommendation to council. Am I correct on that? Yes. Is there any discussion on removing number two without recommendation, still approving number one? Anybody have any discussion or questions? So the first thing we would vote on would be the amendment. Call the roll. Hodrigula? Yes. Straight? Yes. Schuler? Yes. Janser? Yes. Berg? Yes. Kosen? And then back to approving number one under number 10, which was the original motion. Any discussion on that one from anyone? And number three. Yeah. And number two is amended. <laughs> Seeing no one, call the roll, please. Straight? Yes. Schuler? Yes. Janser? Yes. Berg? Yes. Colson? Yes. Padragula? Yes. All right, and number 11 is the Burdick Expressway reconstruction, 9th Street to 15th Street. I'm uh, looking for a motion on this Madam one. Madam Chair, I'll move the recommendation. Moved by Alderman Janser. Second. Seconded by Strait. Discussion? Alderman Strait? Madam Chair, I, I, it's nothing about the, the uh, I just prefer the alternative, and because I think the neighborhood is going to be impacted probably much down the road, uh, I just don't support it. I appreciate Lance taking time and educating me. There's no arguing the fact the road needs to be redone. It's just a matter of, I, as a former driver's education teacher, I just don't believe that straightening that road with a park, a school, a ball field is in the best interest of the city of Minot. So I will always stand for that until I fall on my sword, I guess. So thank you for your time. And I appreciate your opinion on that. <laughs> Anybody else with that, with the discussion item or 
Anything to put forth on this before we call the roll? Seeing no one, call the roll. Dancer? Yes. Berg? Yes. Cosen? Yes. Padragula? Yes. Straight? No. Schuler? Yes. That effectively ends our meeting. With that, we are adjourned.